A team from the International Monetary Fund is in Ethiopia to discuss a new bailout for the country. Now, this comes less than eight days before a debt service suspension deal is set to expire. In December, the Paris Club of Credit and Nation said that Ethiopia's agreement with its bilateral creditors, other than China, to suspend debt service for debts due in 2023 and 2024 could be nullified if the country doesn't secure an IMF program by the 31st of March. On December 25th, Ethiopia became Africa's third defaulter in as many years after it missed a $33 million coupon payment on its $1 billion eurobond. As a result, Fitch ratings downgraded Ethiopia's only international government bond to default from near default. The agency also cut the country's long-term foreign currency rating to restricted default from C. Now, earlier on, CGTN spoke to Gabriel Nagatu. He's a senior fellow at the Atlantic Council's Africa Center to explore what exactly Ethiopia needs to get from the IMF. Well, right now, under the current discussion through the uh, G20 framework, Ethiopia has been given till the end of this month to work out a loan agreement and a reform agreement with the IMF and as a result of that, uh, it is estimated that anywhere around 20 billion of that 27, 28 billion loan that's outstanding will be restructured. So right now Ethiopia is looking to get $3.5 billion in new and additional loan while also seeking to restructure the existing loan uh, of about $28 billion, and out of that, about $20 billion will be uh, part of the restructuring that will take place through the uh, G20 common framework. Well, not, not, not very well, I can tell you that, uh, and this is not unique to Ethiopia when you have uh, this kind of uh, currency devaluation against the dollar, it affects a lot of your imports and, and so on. So the, the, the economy is struggling. Uh, the uh, currency, of course, has gone down, and that's a function of several things. The inefficiency of the local economy, the printing of new money, and, 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 and other variables. So that explains why the currency has gone down, and uh, especially wage earners who, who rely on monthly wages have been hit the hardest because... Uh, the black market has shut through the roof. It's now, from what I understand, over $110 uh, bill to the dollar versus 55, 60 bill in the official market. So it's almost doubled. So if you're getting your salaries in bill, then invariably you're going to be hurt. And families are struggling. The restructuring of the debt and the infusion of new uh, dollar loan will help the economy restart some of the manufacturing sector and be able to finance the import of uh, basic commodities such as medicine, fuel, and fertilizers. So uh, it is it is coping with a great deal of difficulty. Families are feeling the brunt of it, but uh, everything is being done to, to address the issue. Uh, expenditure is, is being reined in to make sure that uh, expenditure is on, on basic uh, and necessary commodities. So it's being tackled from several angles, but all the same, the hardship is there and the effort uh, with the IMF must go on and conclude to be able to bring in some relief, uh, both in the immediate and uh, medium term.